Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This is my friends over at yarninspirations.com. Today is the Cluster Panels Crochet Blanket. This is a one row repeat once you get started. Using a size N 10 millimeter crochet hook in order to play. It's recommending six balls of Bernat Blanket of the large format and today I'm gonna be substituting just for a tutorial sample a Bernat Softy Chunky with an eight millimeter size L just to be completely transparent. I'm gonna get you started and I'm gonna show you how to change the size of this too. If you'd like to change the size of this one, it is a one pa uh, row repeat as you can see row number three and once you get started you'll see that it's can, uh, it really works out beautifully. If you'd like to change the size, the repeat pattern of this is 12 plus four. So you just chain in sets of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Is it big enough? Yes or no? Then do another 12 and another 12. And once you're satisfied with the width of it, just add four more chains. So it's 12 plus four. So the multiples of 12 plus four. So without further ado, let's get ourselves started and let's do a mini sample. You can obviously start your sample or start your final project right now. Let's go. So let's get ourselves started. We're gonna create a slip knot to begin and then we're going to use our hook and create a chain. So you can chain 100 and or you can do multiples of 12 plus four. So let's just do two multiples. Actually I'll do three multiples of four of uh, 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And if I'm satisfied, I'd stop and then add four more chains. But if I'm not, just add another 12 and keep going 12s and 12s and then add four at the end. So please do that now. I'll see you at the end of this chain. So let's begin row number one. It's the only time we're gonna do this row just the way it is. So you're going to go second chain from the hook. So just count it back. So first chain, second, turn it over and get the back hump of the chain only. And I want you to single crochet. And I want you to single crochet in each of the back hump of the chain all the way across to the other side. So please do that now. I'll see you at the end of this row. Now that I've come all the way across, just single crochet in each of the chains. Then what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna turn my work and we're going to establish ourselves so where this is kind of like a foundation of getting the pattern to start the repeat. Let's begin row number two. We're gonna get ourselves established and get this uh, repeat started. So let's begin. So we're gonna chain up three which counts as your first double crochet. And because it's an end, this is the only time that you'll see uh, four only in a row. So this is one of them and the next three are just a double crochet. Okay, in the middle in between all the fans that we'll do, there will be five but only in the ends there will be four. Now you're gonna skip two, one, two and then you're gonna put five double crochets in the next one. So all in the same stitch. So this is two, three, four, and five. But you're not quite done. I need you to chain two, one and two, and skip four of the next stitches. So one, two, three, four. And now after you skip the four, there will be five double crochets in a row. So one, two, three, four, and five. So in the middle section there will be five double crochets in a row and only on the edges you will have four. So let's say we're gonna do a repeat pattern again. So you're just gonna skip the two, the next two and put five double crochets into the next. So one, two, three, four, and five in. Do you remember what you need to do next? That's right, you need to chain two and then skip four. So one, two, three, four and then put five double crochets in a row again. So I want you to do that repeat all the way across and I'll see you at the end and show you how to finish this row. And this is row number two and we're getting ourselves established so that row number three which is next will have a repeat pattern. So let's uh, take you from that point. So for those continuing right to the end, here we're gonna go. So you're going to just skip the next two and put five double crochets in a row. So one, two, three, four, and five. You remember you gotta chain two, one, two, and then skip four. So one, two, three, four. And because it's the end, there will only be four stitches left after you skip the first four. So one, two, three, and the final one is four. 
Okay, so that's what it looks like. So you see that it's offset a little bit and that's intentional. So let's turn our work and move to row number three which is the repeat for this whole thing. Let's begin row number three. You're gonna chain a three count as your first double crochet. Essentially you're matching these double crochets together that you see, that you see them. You're gonna match those and we're gonna be playing within these fan shells here. So the next three in a row are each a double crochet. Now you're gonna skip the chain two space and go immediately to the first double crochet only that you see over here and you are going to apply five double crochets in that one. So one, two, three, four, and five. And like before you have to chain two and then you gotta skip four. But do you see the four that you're skipping? It's part of the rest of that fan. Okay, the fans make up five and so you, if you put in the, the one in the first one there's one and then the rest that you're gonna skip. So you just wanna match these dub double crochets. So after you chain two you're just gonna go right to your double crochets that are standing straight up and you're gonna make those double crochets in order to keep those consistent. So how many are you gonna do? Well how many that you see? So in this case it will be five. And then we're gonna do a repeat pattern again. So to do the repeat pattern you're skipping the two and going to the first double crochet of the fan and you're going to apply five double crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. But before you're done you gotta chain two and then skip the remaining of the, the fan and come immediately to the ones that are sticking straight up. And those are five in a row and you'll continue that all the way across. So if you need to put me on hold now is the time to do it and then I'll show you how to finish the ending of one of these as well in just a moment. Now for those that are continuing right to the very end like before you skip the first two chains go to the first uh, double crochet of the fan and put five in. Just like that. Then you're going to chain two, one, two, skip the rest of the ones in the fan and just put in one double crochet in each of the remaining four double crochets that are there. So that was row number three. So row number three is a repeat pattern so we'll go through it one more time and then I'll show you how to do the final row which is just a uh, single crochet row. So that's how it will look like. So you see that the fans are offsetting each other just like the photograph. Let's turn our work and do a repeat of row number three just to make sure you got it. To do a repeat again of row number three you're gonna chain up three counts as your first double and then you're going to double crochet in the last and the next three that you see. So just look below you can see that it's consistent the double crochets all line up together. Once you get to your fan you're gonna skip the chain two and go right to the first one of the fan and put in five double crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to chain two, skip the remaining of the fan and come right immediately to the one sticking straight up and there will be five in a row. And you'll do that all the way across. So please do that all the way across. Let's see at the end of this row and then we'll just kind of recap on how to finish and then I'll show you the final repeat row as well. So remember skip the two, go right into the first fan, uh, piece one of uh, the first double crochet in the fan, put in five and etc. So please do that all the way across. So just to recap on how to finish the row I'm just jumping over to the first fan. So the first double crochet will have five. So nice easy repeat. Make sure you chain two, don't forget that and then come in the remaining four that are left for double crochet. So the next row in the instruction um, is the very last row. So once you're satisfied with the height of your afghan or your blanket whatever you wanna call it then you're just gonna do a nice easy finish. So you notice that you single crocheted when you started so you have to finish this one. So let's turn our work and what we're going to do is that we're going to just chain up one. So this is the very last row. Chain up one and do one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way across. Now 
on the ones that have the the chain two which is next you can either just go into the chain two space and put in two of those or you could go right into the actual stitch work of the chain. It's up to you. Just make sure that you don't add any extra stitches. So you're just applying one single crochet in each one of the stitches all the way across and that's how you would finish this particular project. It's nice and easy. It's a simple um, pattern repeat which is uh, something that you can enjoy in front of the television and probably not have a hard time with it as well. So that's it for now. This is how you would do this textured based afghan. Really quite easy and I think it's a lot of fun. So have a good one. We'll see you again real soon. It's Mikey on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as the Crochet Crab. Bye -bye. <laughs>